Hello traders, welcome back to Learn to Trade YouTube channel. British pound versus the US dollar. Okay, it has rallied again in the last hours. It has um, it has tried to to approach and reach new highs after uh, after retreating a little after a natural retreat. So we'll talk about this market uh, before the FOMC, before the Federal Reserve. The bias is bullish, guys, and um, yeah, personally I'm looking for new longs and. Uh, before I will talk about this market, risk disclaimer, it's important to understand the risks. You can send an email to support if you have questions. Thank you guys. Learn to trade team will never contact you directly, will never ask for payment. It's important to understand this. Um, also, you'll have to be careful out there. There are a lot of scamming groups, a lot of scammers on Telegram. Um, so British pound versus the US dollar. Personally, um, I was long here after uh, after retesting the, the uptrend line. Okay, uh, here unfortunately I've uh, I've decided to to manage my my position um, maybe too soon here. Okay, sideways movement, test, retest, accumulation, consolidation before a new uh, rally. Okay, but uh, yeah, we had this um, amazing upside movement after uh, after the consumer price index, after the core CPI, after the U.S. reported the. Uh, lower inflation because uh yeah if the us it would have uh, reported maybe higher inflation than maybe uh, british pound versus the us dollar it would have uh, dropped it in the short term so upside continuation strong rally here yesterday okay retreat and yeah maybe today uh, we had a long opportunity a new long opportunity here after testing retesting here after a breakout retest and the uh, new upside movement but uh, orlando was already long um, on the uh, euro usd okay it was uh, already long uh, uh, with the same uh, same uh, same setup uh, same scenario after this amazing rally retreat test retest here 1.23.44 and right now uh, yeah it has jumped it above the air one it has retested it and uh, right now it uh, it rallies as you already know guys um the first uh, upside obstacle 1.2443 and as you already know later today we'll have the fomc statement FOMC economic projections, uh, the federal funds rate is expected to be increased from 4.00% um, to 4.50%. So a 50 basis point rate hike today. And don't forget that the FOMC press conference could really shake the markets, could bring high volatility and sharp movements in both directions. Tomorrow, guys, we'll have uh, the BOE Bank of England. The official bank rate is expected to be increased by uh, 50 basis points as well don't forget that uh, we'll have also the the ecb tomorrow the us retail sales economic data so uh, all these are seen as high impact events also today the fomc represents a high impact event you have to be careful the bias is bullish okay uh, as i've said that uh, we had the long opportunity maybe around these levels right now in my opinion it's too late to go long um because the price could hit could approach and reach 1.2443 resistance upside up obstacle and uh, yeah per personally I will um, maybe I will look for potential new longs after a new retreat or after uh, taking out this resistance okay but as I've said um, the British pound versus the US dollar could re register uh, sharp movements in both directions in the short term that's why you'll have to be careful personally um, maybe I will stay away during the FOMC and I will try to to catch um, a new potential trade a new potential long after the FOMC okay so the bias is bullish here the price um, the price rally had extended its uh, uptrend please take a look here uh, despite temporary retreats temporary drops um, very very important the traders um, have expected okay only um, a 50 basis point rate hike in uh, in December today and uh, maybe the um, today's um, rate hike could be already priced in and uh, we had this uh, strong uptrend here only because the the dollar index uh, turning to the downside the dollar index uh, is in a corrective phase the dollar index uh, developed a uh, leg uh, down a swing uh, um, down so um, yeah as long as it stays above the uptrend line here temporary retreats temporary drops or uh, consolidations accumulations um, and also as long as it stays above 1.2344 
Um, yeah, personally, I'm looking for potential, for potential longs as long as it stays uh, above these uh, obstacles. Okay, above these, uh, above these levels. Also, after taking out uh, 1.2293, yeah, uh, temporary retreats, accumulation, consolidation here, and boom. Okay, and right now it has tested, retested here, and an accumulation, consolidation here, a new higher high to signal potential further growth thank you guys i will look for potential uh, for potential new longs as i've said guys it remains to see how it will uh, react after the fomc it remains to see how it will react after the fomc press conference and uh, yeah um, and if the federal reserve will, will uh, maybe announce a potential uh, zero uh, actually a 25 basis point rate hike in february maybe if the us um, will continue to report lower inflation than uh, maybe the, the US dollar could uh, resume its depreciation. Maybe the British pound Japanese, uh, the British pound versus the US dollar could approach and reach new highs. Okay, thank you guys. See you next time. Bye bye.